The accidents in this film are real-life situations, executed by trained stunt professionals. None of them are safe to repeat. This is a film about one of the most important safety issues in industry, lift truck safety. We're starting here with an ambulance, not because many lift truck accidents start here, but because so many end here. Lift trucks are safe pieces of equipment. They are well designed and well built. But every day, lift truck operators are injuring themselves and their co-workers by ignoring some of the basic principles of safe practice. Operating a lift truck may look easy. It might even feel easy once you get good at it. And that's exactly why it can be dangerous. The challenge is to never let your concentration slip, not even for a moment. When concentration slips, mistakes happen. Let's take a look at some, but by no means all, of the most common mistakes. We call them the seven deadly sins, because they're the cause of so many accidents. Here, an operator is taking a load from one elevated point to another. It's only a short journey, and there are a lot more loads to go. Why bother lowering the forks? It's quicker this way. Why? Because an elevated load raises the center of gravity on a truck. And a higher center of gravity makes the truck much less stable, especially when turning. Deadly sin number one, don't drive with an elevated load. Tip over while cornering may well be the most common of all lift truck accidents. And it doesn't just happen when the truck is loaded and the forks are raised. In fact, 75% of tips occur when unladen trucks corner too fast. If you do find your truck tipping over, you must know what to do. Stay inside the confines of the truck. Brace yourself by grabbing the steering wheel and planting your feet firmly on the floor panel. And lean away from the fall. That's the only safe thing to do. Never try to escape in the direction the truck is tipping. If you do, the overhead guard can crush you against the floor. This is common enough to have earned its own name among safety professionals. It's called the mouse trap. You can see why. When the operator stayed within the truck and braced himself, he survived. He's alive and he's lucky. Head, neck and spine injuries are not uncommon when a lift truck tips over. But when he tried to escape in the direction the truck was tipping, he was not so lucky. Often, accidents can be traced back to poor maintenance, improper training or failure to inspect the truck before every shift. An inspection is a thorough procedure that varies depending on the type of truck and attachments. It includes checking the masts, chains and hydraulics. The tires. Gas connectors. And a check for leaks under the truck. It also includes a look inside the truck to check oil levels and battery connections. Or battery levels, connectors and other electrical components in an electric truck. You'll also need to check the seat adjustment and overhead guard. The lights. Horn and brakes and ensure that the masts and hydraulics are working properly. We're not showing you the complete truck inspection here, 
But the rule of thumb is simple. Expect the worst and rule it out. But just because you've inspected your truck doesn't mean that you won't have an accident. Most accidents are due not to an equipment fault, but to operator error. This load of pipes is properly secured with metal bands. This partial load isn't. There are no bands securing it. That's an accident waiting to happen. The operator thinks the load just might be balanced enough. And besides, he's saving time by not having to restack and secure it. He might even get away with it in a perfect world. But it isn't a perfect world, is it? Don't drive with an unstable load. Take the time to secure the load before moving off. Sometimes you'll get lucky and avoid an accident. Maybe just have a close call. But close calls are no cause for celebration. This operator is backing around a blind corner. Oi! He got away with it this time. But how many times would he be so lucky? For every industry or company, you could construct an accident ratio triangle like this one. As an example, it might show that for every, say, 200 close calls, or accidents without injuries, there might be 10 incidents that lead to minor injuries. And for every 10 minor injuries, there could be one serious accident, leading to a major injury or fatality. This is just one example of an accident ratio triangle. The numbers are different for every industry or company, but the message is simple. Each close call takes you that one step closer to a serious accident. Take close calls as clear warnings and as reminders to concentrate. This mixed load looks balanced. The bottom grate is heavy and well secured, but the boxes on top are not. Even if it is secured, it's not safe if you travel down a ramp with a loaded forks downhill. Hey! Now that's going to cost his company a lot of money and it comes straight off bottom line profits. Remember, on ramps, loaded forks go uphill and empty forks go downhill. So back down slowly and carefully when carrying a load. Here, the operator is carrying a heavy load that obscures his vision. He should be traveling backwards. To make matters worse, this blind corner is also used as an unauthorized shortcut to the coffee machine outside the marked pedestrian area. This one isn't only the operator's fault, but it is his responsibility. He's the one with a loaded weapon. <laughs> Blind corners are always danger spots. Know yours and proceed with caution. Beware of trouble spots like blind corners. Slow down and proceed with caution. And don't tolerate people taking shortcuts outside the designated pedestrian areas. It's down to all of us to enforce safe practices. One of the most dangerous areas of all for lift trucks is the loading dock. 
there's so much that can go wrong here. And it's not all down to the lift truck operator. Loading and unloading lorries requires concentration and communication. This lorry driver thinks he's all loaded and ready to go. But nobody told the operator. He still thinks there's a lorry out there. And his load completely obscures his vision. This is a recipe for disaster. Take extra care on loading docks. Concentrate, communicate, and always make sure your vision is clear. It's a long way to the site from here. It's only friendly to give your co-workers a lift. But are you really doing them any favors? This one is just plain stupid. Lift trucks are one-person machines. That's why there's only one seat there is no safe way to carry passengers. Never carry passengers, ever. Operating a lift truck can be a repetitive task. You might be tempted to take shortcuts, but that's where concentration slips and accidents happen. This operator is stopping his truck and dismounting to get his work order. That's common sense. But common sense isn't always as common as it should be. This operator thinks stopping the truck and dismounting is a bit of a bore. It's easier just to pass by and grab it on the move. But that puts his arm outside the confines of the truck and into serious danger. might get away with it once, but even the slightest distraction could spell disaster. Hey! Ah! Keep your limbs inside the confines of the truck. Don't fool around, no matter how repetitive a task may seem. Operating a lift truck is a serious business. It's a tough job because it demands 100% concentration 100% of the time. Not many jobs require that. The seven deadly sins you've just seen are just some of the many ways you can injure yourself or your co-workers by letting that concentration slip, even for a moment. So the next time you operate a lift truck, remember, don't drive with an elevated load. Don't drive with an unstable load. On ramps, the load goes uphill. Take extra care in trouble spots, like blind corners. Ah! 
and especially on loading docks. Never carry passengers. And keep your limbs inside the confines of the truck. Remembering the seven deadly sins won't guarantee that you stay accident free, but it will go a long way to making sure you finish your shift in as good a condition as you started it. Safe practices are everyone's responsibility, so be careful out there.